made a quick stop here at the pier and we're just going to look at some of the uh, shrimp boats and we're going to walk out on the pier here and uh, I don't know if you can hear the seagulls they're all talking to me wanting a handout so we're going to walk right out here and uh, I gotta watch that I don't step off into the drink but take a look out through here all the boats there's some pelicans these guys are taking a little float looking for some food uh, see everything is happening here boy it's just everything you expect it just wow looking at these boats and think they go out on the sea pretty stinking cool well, we're going to be coming back a little later we're going to take the tour of the uh, oil rig here a little bit but I wanted to stop here a minute and make reservations be back later I just walked over on the other side wanted to take a quick look down here all the boats are in right now I wanted to see what they all look like and looked at, was looking at them from the back side now we get to look at them from the front side. Let's just take a walk down through here. Can you see boat after boat? We're gonna come back later and go out on the, uh, they got a little sunset uh, cruise we can take. And we'll get some video of that and we can see what that's gonna be like. I don't think we're gonna go in the ocean. We'll just be in the little inlet channel here, which is pretty big. But, uh, all these boats are so interesting so much history and when you look at them and uh, just taking a quick walk down through here uh, now over here on the other side is all the pelicans or it must be nap time for the big guys here because they're all sitting here I'll take a look at all those guys guy's cleaning up he must have had dinner got it all over him and the other guys have already ate they're going to sleep for a little bit but as you look out across there you can see the uh, prep being done to the oil rigs two big boats come in and they're gonna pick that thing up and take it out I'd like to be here when that happens but tomorrow I think we're gonna come back and uh, this is the ocean star right here and uh, we're gonna go on a tour. It takes an hour and a half. But let me uh, pan back down here a little bit. Walk on down the uh, walkway and look at some more of these boats. It's such a beautiful day. It's in the mid 70s. The sky is beautiful today. The moon was huge. It just kept getting bigger and bigger last night. We thought the sunsets were wonderful, but the moon rises are just as terrific here. But there's an interesting boat. Looks like these guys have uh, been out working hard. I want to take a look at this guy. He's got so much character. And I'll tell you what, you got to be brave to go out on these things. I can't imagine. I'm going to walk over here and look at this. I mean, you, you couldn't, you can't imagine something like this and getting to see it up close is just fantastic. This is the Donny J and all of its character, all of its rigging. I tell you, that is just beautiful. And these guys go out and Every time I have a shrimp dinner, I'm going to think about this and how they do it all. So it's just a, a wonderful thing that, you know, here we are on the back side of uh, the Ocean Star. There's a helicopter up there that comes in and out. You can 
see how high that goes up there. Pretty scary. The fella staying next to us at the campground, he comes in and he works on the, the standing rig and uh, works way up there at the top of that thing. And dugs the rigging and the rebuilds and uh, works 12 hour shifts, six days a week. And he'll be away from his family for the next four months. So he's a young boy and uh, you know, you hear about the oil riggers working. Well, these are the guys that work on the platforms and that's very interesting. So walk back out here one more time. It's uh, kind of scary walking on these these walkways you can uh, let me turn around and look back and you can see what I walked out on so filming and walking and uh, is a little tricky sometimes well I'm gonna look out here there's a bunch of uh, activity a bunch of big boats coming in uh, working on these rigs I'll zoom in on them here in a little bit there you go but you can see a lot of activity those uh, tugs I guess you call them they're coming in, but here we are on the back side of this uh, tanker platform thing, yeah, oil rig. Okay, well, let me turn around, and we're going to look back. You can see how far I've walked, and there's more down the other way. So we just wanted to give a quick look-see, and we're going to go grab lunch, make some appointments, and we had a great day in service today. There was uh, uh, eight of us in the three car groups and we worked two territories today found a lot of interest and uh, beautiful is over by the seawall and we got to see the friends working with the carts today there was at least six carts down the seawall so okay well i'm signing off for a little bit we're gonna go have some lunch talk to you later well we stopped for lunch today we're at mel's diner and uh I'm not sure if this is Mel or one of the, his family members, but he brought us in here. It's kind of, this came highly recommended. We've been wanting some family food and they have a blue plate spatial. And then that's where we're, we stopped in here to eat. And uh, nice little diner reminds us of home. And uh, all right, thank you. We're going to enjoy our lunch today. Well, we're here at Mel's. This is what uh, everybody's talking about, the Blue Plate Diner. Of course, every place like this has their desserts. Look at that, banana pudding, cherry cake, pecan pie, cheesecake, turtle cheesecake, cherry cheesecake, and Mississippi mud. Hmm, gotta make a decision.